This is our 67 Pontiac GTO. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. Following that, a second walk around where I'll show close ups of all of the cosmetic blemishes on the car. And then there'll be some clips of the interior as well as under the hood and the car running. So we purchased it here locally from a gentleman in Illinois. Uh, he had owned the car since 94. He had purchased it out of Arizona and the car had been sold new in St. Louis, Missouri. So the car does retain its numbers matching 400 uh, V8 automatic transmission. Uh, I haven't actually pulled the numbers off the trans, but with the original engine, I assume it to be the original trans as well. Uh, car was resprayed once um, when the guy bought the car in Illinois in 94. Shortly after that, he sent it out to have it painted. Uh, it's the correct regimental red. Looks very, very good. Uh, done to a high standard at the time, for sure. Uh, no paint run, dust out of the paint, you know, nothing like that. A couple of very minor blemishes, you know, chips and stuff, so you'll see those later in the video. The glass and light lenses are all clear and crack free. The lights and signals are all functional. Polished surfaces, the chrome is all very good. There's one very small spot of oxidation on the right side of that rear bumper below the tail light. But aside from that, very, very good. Body's nice and straight. No dense stings, scuffs, nothing like that. Uh, 15 inch wheels in the rear, 14 in the front. Tires are a little bit older, uh, they're in nice shape, no dry rot, they're not worn or anything like that, but we would probably replace them sooner rather than later. There's no bubbling in any of the corners of the body panels, uh, really nice dry car. Definitely take a look through the underbody photos there in the listing, as uh, the car's in really nice shape, very dry again. Uh, definitely looks like the driver's floor has been replaced at one point, but it was welded in and done correctly. Uh, so when you're looking through the underbody, that's pretty seamless. So all the blemishes on the car. There are some small chips there, uh, driver's corner of the hood, and then when you get down low, forward corner of the driver's door has some chips as well. Then when you look down low, the trim on the rocker, very, very minor dings, little, little tiny ones. Not significant, but worth noting. This flat panel on the rear, you know, between the two tail lights. If you catch it in the right light, there is a little bit of orange peel. You'll also notice the on the passenger side, the trunk lid doesn't fit perfectly. It opens and closes nicely, but it's misaligned up top a little bit. It sits a tiny bit high. There are a couple really little chips, you know, tiny things you can see there. Then work towards the front. There's a little blemish there. Uh, almost looks to be a tiny crack in the paint. Uh, not so much a scratch as a little crack. Then to the interior, uh, the door panels are very, very nice. No kicked open markings. Uh, no hairline cracks in that wood finish. Uh, pretty smart interior though. Uh, no fan, so no heat either. No air conditioning, the radio has been removed. Uh, the dash pad is very nice though, no discoloring or warping or cracking, nothing like that. Dash is very nice. The gauges are functional, that's the speedo odometer and the fuel gauge. Uh, the odometer, while it is functional, it reads 49 and change, we are not sure, we have to imagine it has rolled over. But you can see the console, very nice there. Carpeting is really nice, no fraying or stains or discoloring, nothing like that. Red vinyl seats, really nice throughout. Uh, no real blemishes, no scuffs, not excessively, you know, worn in or anything like that. Seats are very nice. The rear is much of the same, nice and clean. A little bit of age on the, uh, it's called the armrests, but nothing major at all. Headliner and uh, sun visors were actually just redone this year. 